Let's face it, we've all had terrible days at work, be it an angry boss, an unruly customer, or the occasional Karen. Aww. There are some jobs that are so dangerous, however, they'll put your troubles to shame. Today, we're taking a look at the top 15 riskiest jobs that will make you cringe. Number 15. Infantry Soldiers It should come as no surprise that working at any level in the military has some major risks. However, amongst all military positions, few have it as rough as the infantry soldiers. Typically at the bottom rung of the military hierarchy, these are the soldiers who do all of the hands-on work of interacting with locals, patrolling the hostile areas, and of course engaging in firefights. When we then further consider that these everyday dangers often lead to conditions such as PTSD, which in extreme cases can lead to suicide, it's clear that this job certainly isn't for everyone. Number 14. Loggers we all know that working as a lumberjack has been glorified in Hollywood films for decades, but the truth of the matter is that the job is easily one of the world's most dangerous. The main risks stem from the fact that loggers often work from heights, which can lead to large falls, and they also must contend with falling trees, which can crush them if they misjudge where they'll fall. When you then further consider that inclement weather, the fast-paced environment, and rough terrain all make the risk level go up a notch, it's clear that the life of a lumberjack is far from luxurious. Number 13. Police Officers Fighting crime is no easy task, so it shouldn't come as a surprise that working as a police officer is far from safe. And one of the most obvious dangers comes in the form of the criminals they apprehend, as these individuals will sometimes be willing to use deadly force in order to escape arrest. Beyond this, there are also risks that come with driving a police car, as accidents can easily occur in anything from a police chase to an everyday situation. As a result, being part of the police force is definitely dangerous. Number 12. Firefighters While firefighting is unsurprisingly extremely risky, the dangers that come from it go far beyond the massive flames and falling debris that occur when fighting a fire. This is because the fumes let off by one can be even more dangerous. In fact, the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health found that firefighters have more than double the chance of developing both testicular cancer and mesothelioma as a result of their exposure to said fumes. As a result, we think it's fair to say that fighting flames is a risky game when it comes to your health. Number 11. Taxi Drivers Although driving a taxi may not seem too risky at first glance, it turns out that it's a lot more dangerous than you may think. The first and most obvious risk is in fact that taxi drivers are constantly on the road, which makes them prone to traffic accidents that could potentially be fatal. There's also the risk that comes with handling money, as taxi drivers are often the victim of theft by criminals who want to make a quick buck. And while rideshare apps such as Uber and Lyft have made the job safer by removing the cash element, considering the relatively low pay, it isn't exactly a high-risk, high-reward type job. Number 10. Roofers Unsurprisingly, roofing isn't exactly one of the safest jobs out there. After all, roofers are required to work at heights for hours on end, and especially on long, hot summer days. It certainly isn't out of the question for roofers to fall from the roofs they're working on, thanks to a small slip or trip. Now, these accidents could be avoided if a roofer was to wear personal protection equipment. However, many out there either choose not to or are not supplied with it, which makes the job a lot more dangerous than it has to be. Rooftops are filled with other hazards as well that may not be as obvious at first glance. For example, what many don't realize is that the overhead electrical and telephone wires that hang over people's houses can be dangerous, as just one touch and a roofer can easily be electrocuted. There's also the fact that black tar as used in roofing is not exactly all that healthy, and ingesting it can lead to serious health problems down the line. But when you then consider that despite all of this, roofers only get paid about $40,000 per year, it becomes clear that the risk in roofing is probably not worth the reward. Number 9. Garbage men. Although the job of your neighborhood garbage man may look a lot more dirty than dangerous, it turns out that working in waste management is far from safe. Having a death rate at about twice that of police officers, it's not the stench that gets to garbage men, but rather the contents of the garbage they put in the truck. You see, due to most things being wrapped up in garbage bags, it can be hard for these workers to see exactly what is being thrown away. As a result, glass shards flying out of a bag corrosive materials being thrown inside a truck, or dangerous chemicals leaking onto their skin, garbage men really have to be ready to expect everything and anything. As a consequence, despite earning a respectable salary, about $60,000 per year in some municipalities, it takes just one bad bag for a serious fatality to occur. 
We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. Underwater Welders Working with power tools is already dangerous enough, but when you add an underwater element, the job really does get a whole lot riskier. Now, underwater welders have two main types of risk to deal with, with the first group being risks associated with diving in deep water, and the second being those associated with welding. Regarding the dives, underwater welders routinely have to deal with decompression sickness caused by surfacing from water too quickly, hypothermia from cold temperatures, and drowning due to faulty equipment. However, regarding the welding itself, underwater welders are constantly under the threat of explosions or electrocution. This is because the arc of the blowtorch often behaves erratically in water. One wrong move can easily lead to a dangerous part of the machine being welded, bursting apart. As a result, underwater welding is thankfully a job that only very well-trained specialists are permitted to practice. Number seven, construction workers. If you've ever so much as laid eyes on a construction site, you'll be well aware that the fact that they're not exactly the safest of workspaces. And while the risks are plentiful, one of the most glaring is the threat of falling. After all, while construction workers are usually mandated to wear personal protective equipment, or PPE, they often don't, making a fall from a building ledge, ladder, or truck deadly. However, there are many other on-site injuries in which even PPE wouldn't be able to keep you safe, with the most notable being electrocution from unprotected wires, being hit by a heavy object such as a piece of drywall, or being stuck between two objects being pushed together. Yet even beyond all these dangers, there's also the risk of lung cancer and other respiratory problems that come from breathing in residues from building materials, such as gypsum dust, fiberglass, and wood shavings. As a result, working in construction is easily one of the riskiest jobs out there. Number 6. Landscapers Although cutting the grass or trimming a hedge isn't likely to harm you in any way, shape, or form, it turns out that landscapers have one of the most dangerous jobs out there. Yet most of the danger comes not from their physical work, but from the amount of driving they do between work sites. You see, landscapers typically move from client to client throughout the day, and as a result, the amount of time they spend on the road makes them highly susceptible to traffic accidents. These workers also often use power tools, leading to the possibility of electrocution if they're not careful. Yet to top this off, landscapers will at times even use dangerous chemicals such as pesticides to spray the lawns they work on with these having the potential to poison a landscaper if not handled properly. As a result, the unfortunate reality is that across the United States, landscapers are five times more likely to die on the job than the average worker. Number 5. Commercial Fishermen While the dangers of fishing really do depend on the locale, deep-sea commercial fishermen easily have one of the toughest jobs on the planet. Now, on one hand, the inherent conditions of the job are very dangerous. After all, the ocean is often fraught with large waves, strong winds, and torrential downpours, and thus it shouldn't come as a surprise that being stuck on a boat deck while trying to get some fish into the vessel isn't exactly easy. There's also the issue of isolation, as boats are generally far from the coast and the coast guard. Therefore, if a ship springs a leak or if someone gets injured while on board, there isn't exactly anyone to call to help remedy the situation. This is made worse by the fact that there are few regulations mandating that professional fishermen must be trained in first aid and thus if first aid is required, there's a high chance that no one on board will really know what to do. Yet the most dangerous factor of them all is that despite all of these terrible conditions, boats will often try to compete with each other to catch the most fish possible during a fishing season. As a result, fishermen will often work at tugging 100-pound lines and nets for hours on end with almost no sleep, causing their bodies to go through severe mental and physical strain. As a result, it should come as no surprise that with a fatality rate of 77 per 100,000 workers, commercial fishing is easily one of the most dangerous jobs in the world. Number 4. Airline Pilots Although the addition of airline pilots may not come as much of a surprise, the reason for their placement here may shock you. Airline pilots are distinguished among many other jobs on this list for being extremely well-trained. After all, they typically must complete 1,500 hours of airtime before attaining their pilot's license and once earned, they can often make a pretty high salary. Of course, occurrences such as terrorist attack, medical emergencies, and bad weather can all lead to a plane going down, and certainly make the job more risky than most. Yet a much more silent, yet even more deadly killer that pilots face is the radiation from their planes, as pilots consistently suffer from higher rates of cancer thanks to their constant exposure. 
But what's interesting is that all of the fearsome factors at play, it's actually personal error on the part of the pilot that's their biggest killer. However, we're not convinced whether or not this is exactly reassuring. It must also be remembered that not all airline pilots are the same. That's because while pilots flying across simple routes in large planes are generally safe, the same cannot be said for charter pilots. That's because these pilots, who often work on small planes in remote and often extreme destinations, are more likely to have both bad weather conditions on their routes and have little help due to their remote location. Regardless, no matter what plane you work on, being a pilot is certainly not all it's cracked up to be. Number 3. Truck Drivers Despite there definitely being appeal to going out on the open road barreling down the highway, the life of a truck driver is a lot more dangerous than you might think. This is because even one misstep in the loading, shipping, or unloading process can easily lead to a driver being seriously injured or killed. Now, the first thing to keep in mind is that loading a truck is a much more serious task than it may look like at first glance. That's because if anything on a load is not strapped or secured properly, it can easily become loose, come off the truck, and damage either the truck itself or surrounding cars. Unfortunately, it's this type of carelessness that leads to thousands of accidents every year. There's also the factor of speed to consider. After all, truck drivers generally work on a tight schedule, and as a result, the quicker they complete the job, the quicker they get paid. Therefore, many drivers will speed down roadways with little regard to the cars around them, which unfortunately leads to accidents, occurring when trucks then collide with another vehicle. This is furthered by the fact that many truck drivers will ignore the legal limits and drive for many hours longer than they are permitted to, causing them to become fatigued and drowsy in the truck. And it's in this unalert state of mind that can also lead to major accidents. When you then further consider that other factors such as equipment failure, weather, and other drivers can all lead to on-the-road fatalities, it's clear that the work of a truck driver is nothing if not tough. Number 2. Farmers While farming is an industry that has existed for millennia, in recent years it has become a lot more dangerous than you might think. This is primarily because the large machines farmers use in their day-to-day -day activities can be rather hazardous. A prime example of this are the tractors they use in their fields. This is because while they may seem safe on the surface, even the most experienced of operators can have a tractor tip over if it hits a bump in the soil. And while all new tractors come with rollover protection systems and seat belts, many older models do not. And these older models account for about 50% of the tractors currently in use in the United States. Given that this makes tractors exponentially more likely to roll over and crush a driver, it's easy to see why they can be dangerous. However, the tractor isn't the only menacing machine found on the farm. Another just as dangerous device are the corn pickers and combines used to harvest corn and wheat. This is because these machines will often travel at speeds of about 3 to 4 meters per second. Therefore, when farmers try to make repairs on the machines after they jam in the middle of a field, they will sometimes lose arms and legs in the process. When you then further consider that other hazards such as grain silos, dangerous chemicals, and loneliness are also present in farms, it's clear that farming is a lot harder than it may seem. Number 1. Astronauts Despite being some of the most highly trained professionals on the planet, it turns out that blasting through the vacuum of space isn't exactly the safest of jobs. In particular, there are two aspects of an astronaut's work that are especially dangerous physical space launches, and radiation exposure. Now, physical space launches are a pretty obvious one. After all, anyone who's watched the Challenger or Columbia disasters on TV knows that it doesn't take much for an entire spaceship to burst into flames. However, what many don't realize is that astronauts also experience a lot of radiation. In fact, as put by NASA, the equivalent of 150 to 6,000 chest X-rays, depending on the length of the mission. This is furthered by the fact that prolonged time in a weightless environment can have severe effects on an astronaut's musculoskeletal system, and it's normal for muscles to atrophy, bones to deteriorate, and brains and fluids to change in shape and position due to the lack of gravity. As a result, even if they never are the victim of a mechanical issue for their entire career, astronauts will almost definitely have an increased risk of health problems in their later years. However, one final consideration to keep in mind is that the mental health of astronauts is constantly challenged, both on Earth and in space. After all, the hours of research and constant training is nothing if not demanding, and to have to do this intensive work, not just on Earth, but in the vacuum of space, can be very isolating and lead to burnout. When you then remember that astronauts are almost always under public scrutiny and have a lot of pressure on them to perform their duties well, it becomes clear that their job is unimaginably stressful.
That's all we have for you today, everyone, and thank you all for watching. Let us know in the comments down below which job you thought was the most dangerous. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button so that you never miss out on any of our latest content. Until next time.